In this lecture, we are going to talk about replicated state machines and sequence consensus. Sequence consensus is a form of multi-paxos, which allow us to agree on sequences of commands or values. So here is a motivation. We wish to implement a replicated state machine and processes need to agree on a sequence of commands or a sequence of messages to execute. The standard approach is to use uh, multiple instances of Paxos for a single value consensus. This is a standard approach. As just as a background, the replicate state machine is used to provide fault tolerance services. Huh? And it is uh, essential in many systems, for example, Zookeeper, which is an open source uh, service, or Chabi, which is a service at Google. So what is a replicated state machine? First of all, to understand what's a replicated state machine, we must say what is a state machine. So a state machine executes a sequence of commands. Here is our state machine. It is connected to a client. It executes a sequence of command issued by a client or multiple clients and transform its state and may produce some output. So that is basically what is a state machine. So commands in a state machine that we are going to allow are deterministic, which means that the output of the state machine or the outputs of the state machines are solely determined by the initial state and by the sequence of commands that it has executed. The initial state of the state machine and the sequence of command has executed. So now we know what is a state machine. A replicated state machine is a machine with a replicated log. Basically, you take the sequence of command and make sure that it is replicated incrementally on each of these replicas. So let us look at the scenario of a replicated state machine. So here, we have a number of clients, and here the service is replicated into three machines. So the replication degree is three. So when a client wants to execute a command, it sends a command to one of the state machines. And you have there what we call a consensus module. A consensus module will try to add this command in a log here. Okay. And before doing that, it has to reach consensus with other consensus modules on the various machines. So in this case, as you can see, we want all commands issued by clients to be ordered in the same order. A replicated state machine, on the other hand, then associated with each machine, takes a command in order and execute them. And these commands are stored in what we call a log. Okay, So it's a sequence that is stored in a log. The word log is used because this log should be persistent so that in case some machines uh, fail and recover, it can restore the log again. So replicated log ensures that state machine execute the same commands in the same order. That's very important. And the consensus module guarantees agreement on command sequences in the replicated state machine. And the system makes progress as long as, well, that's important, as long as um, any majority of the replicas, the servers, are up. We will try now to implement a replicated state machine. And as we know from our course, consensus is an agreement on a single value. So one way to implement a replicated state machine, or in particular a replicated log, is to use multiple instances of Paxos. So, if you remember from the previous lecture on Paxos, that single value consensus has two events. 
One is a request event. So here is a consensus module. The request event, which is to propose a value. And a response event or an indication event to decide the value. So let us remember the properties of consensus. Just to remember, we are now trying to agree on a single value. So the first property is validity, which says only the value proposed may be decided upon. You cannot decide on a value that is not proposed. And we have uniform agreement, which say that no two processes decide different values. And remember the word processes, we are not requiring correct processes. It could be a process that decided and then crashed. And then integrity, we say that each process can decide at most one value. And then comes the termination condition, which is the liveness condition, which say that every correct process eventually decide a value. And the first three properties are safety property, and the last one is liveness. And we know that in, in consensus, is not solvable in purely asynchronous system, but for partially synchronous system, it is solvable. And these are the practical system that we are used to. So if we take this as a black box, a consensus module that basically proposes and decides, we can try to build a replicated log or um, agreeing on a sequence. Of values and we do it this way this is what the so-called general multi paxos use multiple instances of paxos to do agree on sequences of value so let us use multiple instances of paxos and we organize the algorithm in rounds okay so initially all processes for example process pj is at round one and each process has a number of local state variables or variables. Propose command is, is set that it's initially empty, and it will be the set of commands coming from clients to propose a value. A log is an empty sequence. That will be the sequence of commands that we agree upon. And we have for each, each replica, we have the initial state. We call it v0. And initially, we say we did not propose any commands. OK. A client R that wants to propose a command, C, will reliably broadcast a pair, which is the command and the identity of the client, to all servers. So now all servers eventually receive this command. Okay, they, And they will deliver this command. Upon delivery of that command at any process pj the command pair is added to the set of proposed commands unless it is already in the log now at each round i each server does the following which basically it does the following it starts a new instance at round i of paxos this is the so-called single paxos instance and then, if it did not propose a command yet, and there are some commands in the set of proposed commands, so this set is not empty, so it chooses a command from this set of commands, and it performs a propose. It says that I'm going to propose this command with this identifier at slot number i in the sequence and that is in instance i and it sets its proposed value to true so now the paxos component will eventually decide 
and every process will get what is decided upon. So you get a decision on some command with some identifier, it's not necessarily the, the one that is proposed because different servers or processes are proposing different commands, possibly. Okay, so this is decided, so you remove it from the set of proposed command, if it is there, of course, and you append this command, the decided command to the log. So the command C sub D is now in the log at position number I, and that happens at all correct servers or processes. This, and then what does the replicate state machine will execute this command on its current state and produces a pair, which is the new state and a possible return result, RI. And it will return the result to the client that requested that. Um, now it can set its proposed to false, so it can perform another proposal and it moves to the second round. Okay, this is the algorithm. And it looks like it works, as you can see. But there are some problems, so the algorithm works. But this algorithm is sequential. And what I mean by that is that if you look carefully at the algorithm, in order to select a command at round i, any process which if you remember Paxos, it had proposals, acceptors, and learners, any process that got the desired value has to agree on the previous sequence of commands. You propose one command at a time, everybody agrees on that command, and then you propose the next command and everybody agrees on that command in that order. Okay. So, which would mean that a command at position i should only be proposed here when all the commands at C1 to CI minus 1 have been decided. So this is one problem. The other basic problem is that using Paxos, every round takes four communication steps. Two for what's called the prepare phase and two for the accept phase. If you remember from the previous lecture, Paxos, anybody that wants to propose, he starts a prepare phase to try to get a majority of acceptors ac accepting him as a proposer. And then after that, it will initiate the accept phase and the value is decided if a majority of acceptors accepted this value. Okay. So, and in fact, it is not easy to pipeline this proposal. What I mean by pipeline is that while you're proposing one, you start proposing an next command, and you start proposing a third, and so on. Hmm? That actually the same proposal, given this algorithm, if you just relax the algorithm, might um, end up in different slots proposed by different processes. And you might also decide on slot five before slot three, so you get hole in the log. So that is the problem with this algorithm. What we are going to do now is we are going to move to an algorithm that actually agrees on sequences already from the beginning, from first principles. And remember here, we didn't really specify what does it mean to agree on sequences. The first thing we have to do is to define what is our problem really. Our problem is not agreeing on a single value, but agreeing on sequences. And that will take up in the next unit.